The author. Thomas Jensen lived from April 13 to July 4, 1826. He was the third president of the United States from 1801 to 1809. Jefferson was the principal author of the Declaration of Independence, which was written in 1776. Already when he was a child, he had an exceptional ability to dedicate himself to knowledge and skill. He definitely took these abilities with him in his adulthood. In his career, Jefferson quickly became known for his visionary conception of the rights of the individual, which in general term, terms beca much became the mark of United, the United States. He wanted to institute new government, laying its foundation on principles such as life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. He more or less wrote the Declaration of Independence all by himself, and that made him an approved man. The text is an official document which declared the colonies independent of British rule. It says that the human rights and wild matters, it is necessary that the state becomes independent. But that's not total right, because it also says, descend respect to the opinions of mankind, which requires that it's explained. In the second part of the document, it is declared that the people have basic self-evident rights that any government should respect and allow. If the government doesn't respect those rights, and the government doesn't do what it's supposed to, then it should be abolished by the people. In the end of the document, it is claimed that the British king has violated those rights and established tyranny in the USA. During the 18th century, the religious, intellectual, and economic horizons of the 13 English colonies expanded, challenging the power of Puritan culture with enlightenment. These thoughts united the different regions behind common national interests. The scientific and philosophical, and philosophical writing, writings of Isaac Newton and John Locke argued in favor of a worldview that accepted the ability of individuals to puzzle through and understand the universe. It placed a premium on shared sympathy or sentiment to guide moral action rather than religious grace alone. The Enlightenment emphasis on sentiment helped guide Americans to accept the fast population development due to European immigrants trapped overseas by tales of healthier, less crowded communities and very vague opportunities and economic development, especially in industries relating to agriculture and shipping. 